No, 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 no. A bite to eat. Just a few bit of beet pulp and a few sheep nuts before the storm. Mustard is out in the field with Inca and Maya. Somebody said in another video that they thought, I think it was a little bit, had an abscess on her neck and it's not, it's my bad shearing. They saw a video and they saw her neck and it's just a tufty bit of wool. Where is a little bit gone? If I can see a little bit, I can show you the tufty bit of wool that, um, oh, here's a little bit. See this? Whoops. These are tufty bits of wool on either side of her cheeks. Here's the other side. And it looks like she's swollen, but it's literally, it's my bad shearing. There's nothing there. Just tufty bits of wool. Isn't that right, Ear Feather? You're such a good girl. Oh! You bollocks me in my legs. Don't tip me over. That's not a good polite thing to do, Ear Feather. Really, it's not. Okay, no sign of the alpaca. I'm going to have to go and have a look-see where the alpaca are. So the sheep heard my call, but the alpaca didn't. So now a hunt for the alpaca. I've opened up several fields for the yews to have access to as much of this dry fodder as possible, but they're actually putting on weight surprisingly well. It's my conscientiousness that is wanting to give them some feed because everything is so dry. So they've had a bite to eat. Now to look for alpaca. Well, this is the furthest corner of the field and I have a feeling this is the favorite place for the alpaca. And they've hunkered down for the coming storm. I have a feeling they're here. Can't see because of the dark under darkness underneath the uh, horse chestnut tree. Ah, there they are. I see them now. I was right the far end of everything. There they are. Hey guys, how are you doing? Definitely lovely and sheltered here from the coming storm. So they're hunkered down. They weren't interested in food. They knew the storm was coming. So they got in their favorite storm sheltered place under these magnificent horse chestnut trees.
who are wilting in the heat and drought that we're all suffering from. Look at them. They're literally... Listen to that. That's how dry the trees are. They could do with some a good drink. Okay, ladies, I'll leave you for the night. Mind yourselves. See you in the morning. Good girls. Walking back up from seeing the alpaca to find the ewes have caught up with me. They've passed through one field and followed me this far. Hey girls, how are you? How are you girls? How are you, Ebony? You good girl? Ooh, big step. You good girl, Ebony. You good girl, beautiful. Yeah. Bear having a drink. I've refilled the mineral buckets with water. How are you? Your feather. Everything is rustling like it's autumn. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Aren't you gorgeous? Yeah. You're so beautiful. Okay, I think I'll close the gates of the feeding area. How are you, beautiful? Going off that way. Clever pups, come on. Good dogs. Hey girls! <coughs> They're all over the field now, spread out, <coughs> finding places to eat. Oh dear. And I got everybody following me now. I don't have anything for you. I've already <coughs> given you what you're gonna have. <coughs> Look at that steely gray sky, representative of the coming storm. It's gonna get darker and darker. And if we didn't have the clouds, it would still very much be daylight.
stop doing that. You keep doing that to me, Ear Feather. You're one day you're gonna knock me for six and it's not gonna be funny. No, it's not. You're bold. You're a bold girl. Very bold. <laughs> They're all heading back to where I fed them earlier, thinking I'm going to feed them again. Ladies, you're not getting any more food. Look at you in your pot belly despite the drive. Fat sheep. Look at that. All thinking I'm going to give them more food. You're going to be sorely disappointed, ladies. Sorely, sorely. Oh, God. One guess who that is. Ear feather again. You really are very interested in knocking me down, aren't you? Hmm? Maybe not knocking me down, but letting me know that you're there. Isn't that right? Such a girl. <laughs> I'm not going to let you sneak up behind me again, your father. What you want? Hey, Judy. How are you, Judy? How are you, Judy? How are you, Judy? Scratch your head, Judy. He is beautiful. Yeah, you're not getting any more feed. I have to close these gates. You're all gonna follow me in expecting more feed. I will disappoint you. <laughs>